Are you one of 99% engineers who size PSV fire case the wrong way? Sizing PSV fire case seems extremely easy on the surface. You use API 521 to calculate the fire heat input by calculating the weight area. Then you get the latent heat from a process simulator. Finally, you get the relief in mass flow, and then you follow API 520 to size the PSV area. Sounds easy, right? The calculation sequence seems easy but it is actually extremely difficult when you get into the details. Common mistakes of 99% engineers are making. Number one mistake, assuming constant weight area, which is not true. By the way, the weight area might increase at the beginning. Number two mistake, assuming an inappropriate latent heat. Latent heat is changing through the living period. A proper way to size PSV fire case is to use a dynamic process simulator, since the relieving process is dynamic, not steady state. In this example, VMG Sim dynamic simulation tool is selected to do this demo. As you see on the PFD, there is only one vessel and one PSV. The PSV size is Orify size is E with a set pressure of 500 PSIA. The vessel is a horizontal vessel with a diameter of 5 feet and a length of 20 feet. At the beginning, the vessel temperature is at about 34.5 Fahrenheit with a pressure of 400 PSIA. Suddenly, the vessel is exposed to a fire let us start the simulator and see what's going to happen. Currently, two strip charts are shown. On the vessel strip chart, the black line is the liquid level percentage. The blue line is the wet area and the red line is the heat input due to the fire. The liquid level first increases and then drops. The reason is as the vessel gets hotter and hotter, the liquid density gets lower and lower, thus it leads to larger volume in the vessel. The weight area and the heat input is following the same shape of the curve since they are directly related to the liquid level. The PSV strip chart is a lot more interesting than the vessel strip chart. The black line is the liquid is the PSV opening percentage. The blue line is the relief mass flow rate. The red line is the vessel pressure, while the pink line is the vessel temperature. As expected, the vessel pressure and the temperature start to rise at the beginning. At about 370 seconds, the vessel pressure is about 500 PSIA, which is at the PSV set pressure. That's why the PSV starts to open a little bit. In the meanwhile, you see the mass flow rate, the relieving mass flow rate, start to rise pretty quickly. At about 8 50 seconds, the vessel hits the highest pressure of about 530 PSIA. In the meantime, the PSV open percentage is at highest as well of about 67%, and the relieving mass flow rate also hits the highest of about 7,000 pounds per hour. After the pressure hits the peak, it starts to decline as expected. At the same time, the relief valve opening and the relief mass flow rate started to decline as well. Very surprisingly, at about 2500 seconds, the relief valve starts to open again. And the relief in flow rate is getting larger as well. The liquid level drops. Thus, the fire heat input drops as well. How come the relief in mass flow rate is going to increase? The reason is the latent heat of the fluid is getting smaller and smaller. 
even with very small smaller heat input but due to smaller latent heat that's why the relief mass flow will still increase despite of smaller heat input at about 4000 seconds the relief flow arrives at another peak this is where 99% engineers might get trouble in some cases, the relief flow at the second peak is even larger than the first peak. The reason it is because of latent heat is getting smaller. Let's continue to finish the whole depression process. At about 52 seconds, the vessel has nearly 0% liquid. That's why the pressure starts to drop very quickly. At the same time, the, the temperature still remains fairly the same. After running about 7,000 seconds, the vessel pressure again is at about 500 psia, which is a PSV set pressure. Since the highest vessel pressure is about 530 psi only, so it is protected by this PSV. Thanks very much for watching this video. It is brought to you by Guofu Chen. More interesting topics can be found at showcase.guofuchen.com.